There's more electronics out there than, than you may realize. You just look around the room, wherever you're at right now, you have several electronics devices, your phone, your key fob for your car, the things that are controlling the, the temperature in that room. They're all based on electronics and computer engineering technology. My name is Edward Almacy. I'm an associate professor here at Pennsylvania College of Technology with our electronics and computer engineering program. We have a lot of stuff, we have a lot of equipment, we have, we have a lot of really neat tools and, and toys to play with. And your very first day here, you're gonna be not only learning things in the theory room, but you're gonna be applying that knowledge hands-on from day one. We like to see students that are interested in how the world works. If you have that desire to make things work or control things, this is the major for you. Microcontrollers, programmable logic controllers, analog circuits, these are things that sense the world around us and then they do things. Turn lights on, turn heat on, and send out data to the internet that can be collected and used for various applications. And it's all electronics based and there's more and more of it every single day. When I talk about controlling the things that go on around us in this world, we're talking about turning on fans and heaters and moving robotic arms to pick in place and weld things together and so forth. And that involves a lot of stuff, a lot of knowledge, a lot of understanding. In our classes, we have complete industrial systems with real industrial sensors, real industrial robot arms. And we also get into individual breadboarded circuits where you have little sensors and little things that turn on and off and maybe turn on a little motor or a little light bulb or a fan or something, because the theory behind that's all the same. The programming that you did, the control theory that you struggled to understand, the mathematics that you're applying here, it's the same for the big, heavy industrial control as it is for smaller, more self-contained systems. There are so many aspects for our graduates to get involved with out there in, in, the, in the job market. Uh, whether you're designing these pieces of equipment, whether you're programming these pieces of equipment, and get it to work in a, in a normal environment or an industrial environment or a home environment. Depending on which option our students choose to, to go into, they may be working with real industrial robotic arms that are out there, off-the-shelf components that they're kind of pre-built. You need to understand how they work, how to interface with them, and how those end effectors, if you will, how they're, how they're programmed and used in an industrial setting. So the electronics would be more geared towards somebody who can look at a component and they scratch their heads and they think, how does this thing work? What's inside this thing? How do you manipulate the brains inside this component that makes all this happen? It's not so much just about installing it and qualifying it and so forth and making sure that it's hooked up according to codes, but it's how does this thing work? How does the world work that, that this thing controls? Some of the nice things about our program in electronics, it's a great combination of, of taking knowledge and theory from math and physics and applying it to the real world. In the Linear Applications Lab, the students are taking schematics and, and a lot of concepts that we've discussed in classroom, and they have to take that schematic and really make it, make it happen. So we have our students here designing a, a complete thermometer circuit from a temperature sensor through a conditioning circuit that then acts on the real world through opto-isolators and turns on industrial fans and motors and heaters and so forth based on the temperature that they're encountering with that sensor. You see the latest technology here. Our instructors are constantly upgrading their skills to be aware of that technology, to be proficient in that technology. Some of our success stories are so successful coming in with nothing more than just a thirst to understand how things work and with the faculty we have here, with the knowledge that we have here, with the equipment we have here, with just the lab space and the ability to work with these students, to see them go from where they began to the success after they graduate, that's inspiring. It's inspiring to me. It keeps, it keeps me and a lot of my colleagues coming back. As everybody knows, the, the world of electronics is fast moving, fast changing, and we're constantly expanding our skill set to keep up with it here. And it, it's, it's wonderful to be in an environment here where you can really take the newest technology, apply it to the same old problems that have always been around, always will be around, and yet be able to, I guess, manipulate the latest and greatest stuff that's out there and know how to, know how to use it. And that's what you're gonna find in our program.